Alright, today is Thursday and I just came back from picking up the mail and I got two items in the mailbox here. Really cool stuff here, interesting things here. The first one I want to share with you is from Rick Barrett. They sell tickets on eBay and they've always get the business card. There's Rick Barrett's, thank you so much, Henry Rick. So I always get his business cards there. I have a bazillion of those. And uh, no, I did not send this envelope. That's what he used on there. A lot of people are using these ancient stamps here. I bought two items for, I think, a total of $6. I'm not really exactly sure. This one here is not coming out of the holder. I don't know how to get it out there. I don't know how I got it in there. I don't want to damage this. I think I wrinkled it up a little bit, but it should sort of okay. Uh, but we'll start off with this one here. This was $1.99 free shipping. Somebody went to a concert, had it, and folded it up in their pocket, and there's a big crease right down the center. Um, but this is the Joy Formidable. Uh, Kilimanjaro Live presents the Joy Formidable, plus special guests. Um, it doesn't say what the special guests are. This is 14 pounds right there. Uh, downstairs standing. This is, where was this? Uh, something London. Uh, Highgate? Looks like Highgate Road, London, somewhere. The HMV Forum, is that where that was? Interesting. Friday, October uh, four, uh, f October 14th, 2011. Uh, I think that's when Whirring came out, their song Whirring. It was a big hit. Um, but like I said, this was, this was only like a dollar ninety nine. so I figured I'd try out one of the bargain tickets. Pretty huge, and he put it in a holder. Also in the exact same holder is this Green Day Working Pass unused, but I can't get it out of the holder. Um, there's a little fold in the middle there where it's where it kind of where you peel the sticker, um, but I was kind of Dinging that up and wrecking that, so I can't. So if I wanted to get it out of the holder, I'm gonna have to slice the holder. I wanted to put it in something else. Well, maybe I'll just leave it in the holder. I don't know how long good that would be. I was gonna put in a. Well, we'll see. We'll see. But uh, I bought this one. The green one was sold out, um, and then as soon as I bought this one, the other ones were sold out. This was I want to say three dollars plus a dollar for shipping, so that was maybe four dollars. It was dollar or two ninety nine plus a dollar, so that was four dollars. And this was five six because the tickets were no shipping and these were shipping on those. So not sure why that is, but anyway. Uh, he got at least a dollar an item per so if you buy a bunch of these, it's in a dollar additional for shipping, which is fairly reasonable. So there was that. Uh, then I went to eBay and bought one of these mystery lots of stamps. I don't know if I can share it with you right here. I was in the lead feedback section here. I'll see if I can find it here. I want to go to uh, summary. I want to show you what I just bought here. It was, I think, $11.03. It was $1.99 plus something like $9 and something shipping. It came shipped in this. I'm not even joking. It came shipped in this, this, um, this flowery bag here, uh, Parcel Select. And then it was shipped, I think, I don't know, something was in here. Was that? I think that was in there as well. It was really crazy packed. And then, um, somehow, I think, I'm not sure what that little baggie is from there. And then, then there was all these taped and folded envelopes here with some ancient notes on there. Uh, there was two or three of those all taped together. Very unusual. But anyway, I got a vintage used stamp locks, myths, collector craft. I wanted to show you what the listing said. The original listing here was kind of interesting here. I was the only bidder on there because maybe the shipping was so high. Um, I'll just see what it said here. I know nothing about stamps. My mother was a saver more than a collector. She saved interesting stamps from incoming mail and sometimes bought new stamps she liked to keep and use. She passed away in 1990, so everything here and before then, probably mostly 70s. I see a lot from 1978. I don't know the significance of that year other than it was the year I graduated from high school. Ha ha. Little red marbled case not included. What well, I never saw that, but uh, anyway, so it was just a picture of. Let's see if I can show you the picture here. This is the picture that I got, and I just took a chance on there. There'd be enough to make my eleven dollars back in postage here. This is the. I'm already at four and a half minutes here. Um, see, so that's what I saw there. But I saw some envelopes and some things with unused stamps back there, and I calculated somewhere around eight. So I said eight is not enough to make back my eleven, but I will just see what we have here. So um, I'll just get back out of the screen here and just I haven't calculated it yet, but uh, so a lot of these are water damaged, so there's no glue on the back of them, or they need some more glue. Uh, that's eighteen times four, so that's ten. That's forty, seventy cents or something like that. I don't know because um, eight. 
and that's what uh, 36 and 30 all right, some I don't know my math is terrible there so that's not quite a dollar but it's getting there there's a bunch of twos um, and here's like a couple bucks here 20 40 60 80 so each one of these are uh, okay actually no I'm sorry these are uh, 60 uh, 60 60 60 and 60 so that's 240 or something right there that's 240 and then we got um, I don't know what sent to this are threes I'm not sure a bunch of threes, disabled Americans, and there's some. There, a lot of these things are stuck together too. And then we got some twenties here, or eighteens and twenties. So there's another uh, dollar and a half or something there. And then we got a bunch of stamps in here. So twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. So there's a, a couple bucks worth of stamps in there. Maybe three dollars in there. We got some more of these, and we got a whole sheet of eighteens. It looks like eighteen. So there's another couple bucks there. I'm pretty sure I made my money back and then some. Um, some love stamps that are kind of stuck on the back there. Those are 20 centers. There's a lot of 20 centers in here. I think those are 18s there. And then 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. There's a do another dollar there. And then these C-Series stamps, one of them was brand new sealed. And there was $4 in there. Um, so I think there was $4 and the other one was close. So that, just these two alone were almost $8 right there for those. Then I got these here. And never mention, not to mention, all of these right here, all these used stamps that are here. 95% of those are all going to go directly in the trash. And mostly Christmas stamps, uh, really beat up stamps. There's a couple of interesting cancels, but most of them are peeling right off the paper. These just peeled right off the paper because, again, the water damage. So that helps if you want to soak the stamps off. But if you want to keep with the cancel, again, here's uh, four 18s right there. Four block of four 20s. Uh, four fifteens. That's a used one there. Four twos. So these are perfect, perfect for you know uh, writing letters with and putting on postcards. A couple of eighteens. There's a couple of twenty cent Babe Ruths. Maybe at the end of the video I'll try to do a calculation of how much, approximately how much. Uh, there's two twenties there. There's a whole bunch of unused stamps in there of all various kinds. There's maybe a couple used ones in there as well. Didn't really look. There's even more on that side there. Oh wow, look at all that. So that's another at least couple bucks. If those are not used, those are 40s. Let me just pull these out here and see if these are used or not. Uh, looks like they were not used at some point. So there's two 40s. That's like 80 right there. I probably got a close to 15 bucks in postage here. Here's a 10 cent postcard, which I will gladly use. Um, this strip here is a strip of, oops, well, uh, there's a few stamps there. I've got to pry them off of each other, 15s and 20s and 18s and stuff there. That's cool. And it's still going. Um, I couldn't believe I was the only bidder on this lot here. Um, but I just looked at the pictures and I put like something ridiculous like not just like a not even a dollar over the the final bid the only one in bid most of these things you know regardless of what they are here's some more stamps stuck to each other a bunch of 18s those will come apart there's four 20s right there of watch or um, uh, Roosevelt another disabled American veterans there have a few stamps there those have never been mailed out but they were on there 20s, lots of Christmas stamps. Here's some Barrymore's. This stuck to another stamp thing there. Some used stamps got stuck to here. Well, that's really not going to come off. Yeah, that's, that's really stuck on there. I don't know what was on there, but really stuck. I'm still going. More stamps, more stamps, more stamps, more stamps, more stamps, more stamps. Oh, by the way, more stamps. And this is the other one that said it was close to eight because there was like four dollars and one missing out of that one. More twenties, just absolutely bananas. How I got a good deal. I'm gonna do a quick um, uh, tally of this and I'll come back and I'll let you know how much I got. Thank you. All right, just back very quickly. And this big pile of stamps was very very hard to go through. Some of them were stuck, some of them were but amazing. I came out with something ridiculous like forty dollars and fifty eight cents in usable postage. Um, with a 50, per, a 50 cent margin of error. There might be a few more stamps I missed and, and I will be able to soak some of the damaged ones. They'll come out just fine and I'll just glue stick right on things. But I, I saved something. I paid $11 and I, I some, saved something almost like $30 in postage or something ridiculous. Absolutely insane. Outstanding. So I may have a bins trip review um, because it's being Thursday is when I usually go out. So um, I had to, uh, 
Well, I won't spoil that. I'm not sure I'm going to do that. This is a different video. But anyway, to make a long story short, I really did great on postage. All beat up and gross, but that's exactly what I want for my postcard project. Absolutely perfect. And I've already left positive feedback with a seller thanking him. I said I'm going to put them in my stamp book. And there's some I might do that. So very positive. I, it was just weird that I was the only bidder. I think it was like they had a price and then starting bid. And then I was a high bidder. And they honored it and shipped it. And thank you for watching.